add the... So this is in Bender? This is in Bender. Okay. And, uh, so this is uh, one of the models done by uh, someone in the forum. Okay, so this is taking the files that were uploaded to the forum and then bringing them into uh, Bender. I've tried that, but I, I could never get them across successfully. And I, no. I wasn't willing to spend the time to, yeah. to figure so it out. Yeah, so one thing I had to do, change is change the legs, because the legs uh, here had some rotation. The okay. hands had 20 degree rotation also. Yeah. Uh, so this one is the 14, and when you try to export this one, it's fading for some reason. Huh. On the wave, okay. on the OBS format. Yeah. If you export it in DirectX format, it's, it's fine. Okay. So what I'm doing after that, I use Polytrans, which is another one. Okay. <laughs> to load the cell. And here, here we have it. Oh, uh, slick. So they are quite quite heavy in terms of number of triangles. The modelization yeah. is quite precise, so it's very nice. So and from there I was able to export it. <laughs> yeah, but, but now so you, now you take it's the secondary step. Yeah. But now it doesn't seem to be converting properly to to the Microsoft format. Okay. Well, I have no idea. Okay, well you'll figure it out. This takes yeah. time. But this one is, is quite nice. Uh, in the simulation, I've not I've not put the the RCB one, but it uh -huh. doesn't really matter. Uh, I still the, I can almost see the the eyes also they're modeled. Also, <laughs> they're stickers. So, but they actually so, model the uh, yeah, stickers. Yeah. yeah. So cool. the thing is here to to extract all the the file the the stuff in different files. And to model them into different parts in uh, in the simulation. Yeah. Uh, the issue that we have at the moment is that the simulation there is a difference between visualization and simulation. Yeah. yeah. So you have different models for the yeah. for the two. Yeah. Uh, the model for the display is way way better than the simulation. For the simulation, I just have have boxes. Uh -huh. The problem is it's not uh, close enough to the mm. robot itself. So okay. we'll need to change that uh -huh. to have a better description uh, for, to, for the robot. For example, this one here, the, the hip and the, and the foot. Uh, yeah. This one is, how is it modeled? As a box or something like that. Uh. And we'll change that to have something like I mean, four or five boxes uh -huh. uh, getting the shape and the connection properly okay. because without that it's just not gonna work uh -huh. uh, same here probably so that's something that Bob is doing uh, okay. was doing before going on really uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay. whereas I try to get the Microsoft uh, now Microsoft had a uh, KHR one. Right? Yeah, they had one. Yeah. But what they did was um, they have just done. Where is it? Um, uh, it's in platform. What was that? Condo. It's a KHR one service. Yeah. Which enables you to drive the servo. Okay. Via web interface. Okay. That's it. Oh, so no modeling, no. No modeling, no simulation. Uh, it's just just the, very the interface yeah, very using uh, yeah. uh, using what serial port communication. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did that also. I modified that for the KHR two. Yeah. However, I just realized yesterday that I deleted the file. Uh, excuse me, one more time. I deleted the file. <laughs> oh, in the file. Okay. <laughs> because uh, I coded it into the August yeah. SDK 
Okay. And I've installed the September SDK and the October SDK. And after installing the October, so ah, I don't need the this, uh, the August uh, one anymore. Uh, so oops, it's gone. Okay. Uh, well, you can. Yeah, I know how to do it, so it's not yeah. it's not an issue. I mean, this part is easy. It's communicating via the serial port yeah. with the the RCB3, and okay. since we have the protocol now, uh -huh. it's uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Pretty. Cool. <laughs> Simple matter of time yeah. and effort and, and problems uh, and yeah, yeah. And understanding the documentation in, uh -huh. in Japanese. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so, the story of our life here. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, this stuff is still not doing anything. Okay. I don't understand. That's a dual core, two point four gigahertz, after an X two and. Uh, yeah. Takes 10 20 minutes to convert one file. Cheers. I don't know what they're doing, but. Uh, I don't know, when I rip videos for uh, robot streams, with my old system, I would start the rendering and then I'd go take the dog for a walk and come back 30 40 minutes later. Yeah. But with the dual core, yeah. it rips or it renders yeah. faster than the video will play. You know, if I got a three minute video, I can do it in like two and a half minutes yeah. and then go back and make changes and rip it again. So what is this doing that takes so I much have, time? I have no idea. Huh? And it's all floating point, you said. Well, I don't know what they're doing here. Okay. Uh, they're converting from one format to another, so. Whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I've, I don't remember if I checked. It's much bigger. The file is bigger, so I don't really know what they're doing. Is it a binary file or a text file? It has to be a binary. Yeah, I would think so. Yes, it is binary. Well, all files are binary. Just, right. they're bina we, we call them binary when we don't know what the format is. No, no, there is a difference between the text file, which contains only character. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this one is definitely binary file. And I have no idea what they're doing with it. Uh, yeah. So how about the usefulness of uh, the whole thing? You know, how, do, how do you see that? being useful uh, I don't know yet um, well you talked about being able to simulate motions and create yeah. motions the simulation part is the most interesting part because yeah. if you can if you have a correct physical simulation yeah. then you can try to have programs generating motions mm -hmm. uh, automatically uh, let's say if you want to use a neural network mm -hmm. to create motions you can set a goal uh, let's say you model uh, steps mm -hmm. and you want the robot to climb steps yeah. uh, or if you want the robot to run that's mm -hmm. another good example if you can create a set of rules saying that's what happened when it's running or mm -hmm. I want to go from that point in front of the step to the top step right you can have the simulation do that automatically okay. so you will tweak the parameter in the neural net mm -hmm. for the motion generate mm -hmm. the motion test the motion in the simulator mm -hmm. see what it does of course if it's not physically correct then the motion is useless right right and that's my concern here Okay. I don't know how how correct it is uh -huh. and how correct it can be uh -huh. and uh, so we'll see that uh, once we get close to the final version I guess uh -huh. uh, we'll get a feel for that but, uh, yeah. do they have a time frame that they published yet? Uh, no, for? Not, not yet no. okay. still not even a beta version so okay. it's just a community technology preview so okay. I mean, it will be out probably next year, end of next year. Okay. Uh, there is a lot you can do. I mean, oh, hey, finished one file. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot you can do. I mean, um, if you want to connect robots 
outside the simulation, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, communication, the, the communication part is handled quite nicely. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, already. Of course, you have to, if you have a uh, custom protocol, you, you need to code it. But uh -huh. The rest, the serialization of status, mm -hmm. the is is pretty much there already hmm. and they've added now a uh, visual programming language also hmm. so you can put boxes links link the boxes and uh, mm -hmm. design your your stuff like that you mean similar to uh similar to, uh, to what rcv3 heart to heart yeah heart okay. to heart is doing so it's quite possible that in fact currently with the programming language you could mm -hmm. probably do the heart to heart three uh, if you have the KHR2 or the uh, RTB3 module. And a, and a quad processor. Uh, well, no, it, uh, that, that doesn't require <laughs> that any, any power because okay. it's just sending data via the serial port. So.